This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have a great tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at MITMF. MITMF is a man-in-the-middle attack framework. It can create MITM scenarios and then launch upper layer attacks like JS Keylogger, HTML code injection, traffic redirecting, client sessions hijack, HSTS bypass, and more. This tool is written in Python and was developed by Marcello, who is at Byte3Bleeder on Twitter. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. We'll take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how to launch an MITM attack on a target Windows system and steal its NTLM v2 hash. Then we will use Hashcat tool to crack the hash. First, let's check the victim machine IP address. Now we are ready to launch MITM attack on the target machine using Responder plugin. We have to define the IP of the target machine and gateway. Responder flag is used to select the Responder plugin. WREDIR and NBTNS flags are to enable responses to NetBIOS domain suffix queries. And then press Enter to launch it. After launching the attack, when the target machine tries to access an SMB shared directory on another machine, the MITM tool will sniff the NTLMv2 hash. Let's switch to attacker's machine and we can observe that MITMF has captured the hash. Next, let's copy this hash and paste it into a text file. We will feed this file to Hashcat tool to crack the hash. We know that brute forcing is usually a lengthy process. So to make this demo short, we have created a short password list, which also has the correct password. Let's use Hashcat tool using M option, which defines the protocol number and provide hash.txt and pass.txt list for cracking. We can observe that Hashcat cracked the hash. The recovered password can be used to log into the system or to take remote shell using SMB exec tool. These kinds of attacks are typically insider threats because they can only be done while on the same local network. But after compromising one system in company LAN network, an attacker can launch such attacks even from the other part of the globe. This is how attackers generally do lateral movements in a network. Well, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.